Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today we are going to take a look at another video editing tool, which is in this particular case, completely free. I will leave some links down below so that you guys can check it out. And you know that I do love video editing and I do love to search, find, and then share my experiences with you. Now, this video editing tool, it has some pros and cons like everything else. One of the pro is that it's really simple to use. So I'm going to share with you quite a few things. Before that, let's give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is cdkeysales.com, which we have tested out. It's a platform where we can purchase budget Windows 10, Windows 11 Pro keys and even Office 2021. And we also have tested how to activate on the platform. So everything went smoothly and I have no issue at all in recommending the platform if you are looking for a budget key for your Windows platform. And talking about Windows, this software right over here, at this moment, it's only available for Windows. Have in mind all of the specifications that are required because I did test out on this laptop and the laptop will not handle very well. Now on this machine will be more than fine. If we check the screen right over here, we have the Mini Tool Movie Maker 4.0. In terms of the installation, really easy. Just go to the website. There are quite a few softwares from Mini Tool. We can download uh, for free the Movie Maker and then just install it and here we are. Now there are some templates that we can use and at this moment there are nine that we can choose from. Once we have the template, we just need to select our clips and then we just need to uh, edit if required those clips. And once we're done, we can just export and we have a movie made in no time with some nice transitions and effects and so on and so forth. So that might be useful. Probably one of the things that this app has, which is nice. Now, from here, if I want to go to the templates, I just need to select right over here, templates. And I just need to select one and do the process that I just showed. But at this moment, I want to share with you the editing um, capabilities that the software has. So first of all, we are going to import media files. I'm going to select one of my files here with audio and video separate. And it's quite fast to add. And I'm also going to pick a few others right over here, for example, these and just import it to my project. These are quite a few files, so this will depend on the storage that we are using. In this particular case, I'm using SSD, so it's quite fast to import on any software, not just this one right over here. And here we go. Now, if I want to add a clip, and this one is my first uh, or my main clip, so I just need to press add, and there we go. It will add to the timeline. It will show me that I've got four minutes and 36 seconds, and there we go. Now, if I want to add audio, there's one limitation, which I can add, add the audio right over here, but the limitation is that there is no synchronization option at this moment. I would be surprised if there is, because in terms of software with free capabilities, usually there's not. So the thing that we will need to do is to synchronize manually. So I'll need to find my waveform and I will need to synchronize it with this. Now we have done this in the past. I'm not going to do it here just to show you one kind of limitation. I'm going to delete this audio because I'm not going to use it for this particular video, but we can instead of our audio file, we can put a background music. For example, if you already record your audio with the video. In my particular case, I always record the audio separate right like I'm doing right over here. Now let's move on right over here and let's say that I want to cut this part here. I just need to press one of my machines, just put it up. Just need to press uh, right over here. And if I want to delete, just right click and press delete. And there we go. So this is the way, as you can see, it's pretty snappy. I can just scroll and it's pretty snappy to go from one side to the other. If I press play, Okay, so this was a mistake. This this, this is the the Portuguese version of my video. And there we go. So it works really nice. Now, one of the limitations that we have right over here is that, and I've got these tracks here that, that I did add previously and we can keep on adding. So I can add, um, when we start the project doesn't have any, but we can add as many as we want. And these tracks we will see later on how we can use them. But one of the things that I would love to use right over here is that I could put a B-roll on top 
and at this moment the software has this limitation which will not allow me so if i want to show something right over here i will need to go here and add this clip for example so it will be at the middle of both which is not the ideal if i'm doing a video for example at this moment and i want to put something on top as a b-roll so this is one of the limitations but everything else works really nice so in my opinion before we move on this software is for those that want something really simple for example if you should put your phone family movie or something like that or a holiday movie or if you shoot with your drone and so on and so forth and you want to do something really simple you don't want to waste time with complicated software then probably this is your target where you just need one timeline in my particular case for youtube videos for example as i use a roll and b roll things are a little bit more tricky and here is one of the limitations now let's move on and check out some of the things that are really cool for example transitions you will have 97 at this moment transitions to use with the software and they are very very easy i just need to bring one of the transitions that i want to the middle of the clip so what happens is that when we press play it will just do the transition that we want and of course 97 tra transitions you will have a lot more interesting transitions right over here i did select one but uh, we can play around with our favorite ones and boom this one is a little bit more attracting so you will have a lot to play around and my suggestion is always to try out this software in this particular case it's free so just download install play around with it so that you can check it out now in terms of effects it's really interesting because it has some effects that if we are using um, Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro we will take a lot more time to do one of these effects for example this one right over here looks nice this is the toaster let me apply this one to here toaster and it will give this effect looks really really interesting so in a matter of a few seconds i will be able to test out quite a few which in 47 at, at the moment and one that i really enjoy is the black and white which some sometimes i do use and there we go if i want to remove the effect i just need to go here and remove the effect of course i can also play around with saturation and brightness and so this is a lot of saturation i can put it black and white without any effect which is usually what i do on my videos and there we go now on text uh, things are really interesting because i can for example really quickly add a lower third right over here and i can put my name like i did on the beginning of this video not using this software i did it on final cut pro 10 but it's a lot more difficult or we need to do some or have some plugins in this particular case it's already built in so i just need to place my name right over here and now if we go back and if i play there we go okay so here we are with a really nice lower third without any issues there are quite a few times titles and we can overlay using these tracks right over here so we can use more than one title we can adjust where we want the um, the position of the text if it has more than one component then we can play around like I'm doing right over here and basically we have a lot if we put the mouse on top uh, it will show us a preview of the animation so you don't need to be dragging all of them to your timeline which will save us some time now let's go to motion because this is a interesting um, feature that we have i'm going to cut right over here and i'm going to cut right over here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to select one of these motions uh, maybe zoom in to the bottom left which is where i have the product for example so if i press uh, the plus sign what happens is that it will go over time to zoom and pan to the in this particular case left side of the screen so these effects are really really nice in comparison with the software that i usually use we will need to do keyframes here with the position and then at the end another keyframe with the position and if you edit videos you know what i'm talking about right over here is just a press of a button that is it so these are the greatest advantages that we have on the mini tool movie maker 4.0 now in terms of elements to summarize this we have some animations right over here which we will be using the um, additional tracks here on top so i can bring one or two or how many i want i need to download first if i haven't used yet and i can just 
overlay them on top and let me download this one as well it's a uh, uh, interesting face it's happy at least so i can just put this one right over here this one right over here and the other one uh, is right over here. the other one is crying okay so there we go i have this one right over here and if i press play we will have the emoji with the animation this one with the animation and all of them actually are animated so all of them that we have right over here actually i didn't test out this one but let me try the loading this looks interesting loading okay this this one is nice loading and complete so this animation is really interesting probably um, my favorite of all let's let me try this one as well this one is nice for you to subscribe pump and pump okay <laughs> this one this one is actually really 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 simple and cool for these social networks and let's try this one because i haven't tried before a like subscribe and get notified okay really great let me just check out with you right over here and this is the first time that i'm using this one if we can but we can't we can't uh, change the text that would be really awesome if you could but we can't at this moment now the final step is once we are happy with our movie what we are going to do is to export the movie one of the things that i did check out is that it's really fast in terms of exporting of course comparing with other kinds of software that i usually use on my daily basis now to do that i just need to go to the export button before we go we also have some tools right over here that will help us uh, to edit the video if you want if you need to rotate for example when I shoot unboxing videos I have the camera uh, 180 degrees the other wise so I need to rotate my videos and we also have the speed control and audio control of every single clip so we can fade in and we can fade out and we can select the volume that we want which is really nice now in terms of the export experience what we are going to do is to export i can just leave it as it is or i can select by device but i will choose my format right over here for youtube will be fine in terms of mp4 probably i would want to increase my bitrate by uh, uh, quite a lot to have better quality but in this particular case it's acceptable so leave it as it is now we will have a result of 311 megabytes of files so if i press export i want to replace it yes because i already created a file with this exact name and it will start the export time now i will um, advance the video a little bit so that you can see the time that we take but will be really really fast so one minute and a few seconds we are already reaching the 90 percent mark so we will have a total of one minute and 15 16 seconds your movie is done with a timeline that has five minutes so five minutes timeline by the way this is a 4k file which is being exported at 1080 one of the things that i did not check out let me try to go in export and settings i have 1080 yeah the 1080 is the maximum that we can export and although this is a 4k file like the one that you are watching right now maximum export uh, format will be 10 1920 by 1080 but it's really really fast as you could see five minutes will render in one minute without any issues whatsoever that being said guys the only thing that i can mention right now is that i will leave a link down below it's free so you can check it out and see for yourself if it is the tool that you are looking for to have some fun editing your videos or not and if it is don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto george and as always I'll see you guys on the next one.